Hello, I'm Julia Chen. Today, we are thrilled to have Marcus Wells, a return guest to the UATES audit video series. Marcus is an expert in identity security and the CEO of Well Secured IT, a consulting firm that leverages his years of experience in the identity world. Hi, Marcus. Hey, how's it going? Oh, very good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome back. Um, first of all, Marcus, can you please tell the audience a little bit about yourself and your practice? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, of course, my name is Marcus Wells. I'm the, the owner and founder and CEO of uh, Well Secured IT. As you mentioned, you did a great explanation there, so I appreciate that. Uh, what I do is basically help organizations mature and build out, and in many cases, you know, greenfield out their identity security practices in any way, shape, or form that they may need. Um, you know, I focus on the governance, the compliance, and the, the requisite number of actions and how they need to you know, unfold within an organization in order to have proper identity security. Um, and I do this in a very holistic approach. Uh, I've been leveraging my two decades worth of experience to be able to accomplish this. And uh, I found a lot of success in that specific uh, level of approach, that, that holistic ma uh, management of identities. That's wonderful. So before we get into IGA, let's talk a little bit about identity access tools. These tools have come a long way in the last five to 10 years, haven't they? Absolutely. Okay. Um, so do many enterprises utilize these tools as their focus for identity enforcement in the enterprise? Yes, typically that is the case, um, and there's a there's a mix of uh, different types of tools they'll use. Um, I typically put them into two distinct buckets. There are the uh, you know out of the box tooling that's available that they can purchase from a vendor, uh, reputable sources like uh, Garrett and, and yourself you know represent UATest, uh, or they can develop their own, which many organizations have in the past, and they're finding that. The, the DIY approach to their identity governance and identity management solutions aren't meeting their renewed desires and requirements to secure identities going forward. Oh, okay. And most enterprises have organized their IAMs mm -hmm. with groups and roles to give access to the enterprise resources. Is that correct? I think that's generally speaking the idea. Um, I think there are various different levels of um, efficacy behind it, but that is a general approach, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and so roles access is the basis to a well-governed enterprise. Is that not so? That is absolutely correct. Could not agree with you more. Okay. And standard enterprise IGA solutions often replicate this information, do they? Yes, that is correct. That is absolutely correct. Okay, very cool. Um, if an enterprise actually organized its roles and groups in the IAM, then they could use this data store for governance? At 1000%. Could not agree further. Uh, the, the entire purpose is really to, as you mentioned so aptly, you want to have a, a strong level of organization and how you are delineating that information within the environment against specific users and groups. And then that actually allows for that, that visibility, which is key to governance. Oh, okay. So then what are the missing pieces? So there, there are there are a few missing pieces uh, depending on the maturity of the organization and depending on on where the the strengths are. We'll put it that way, right? Um, that the organization has has leveraged up to this point. So when we talk about, uh, say, for instance, RBAC or role based access control, as you mentioned, there are a number of different things that when I approach an organization, I try to share with them uh, just the dependencies relative to moving in that specific direction, right? Um, without going into too many details here, because I don't want to give away the, 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 too much of the sauce. Uh, <laughs> so one of, the, one of the key dependencies is, is really understanding where the people in your organization are in, in relationship to the level of work that they're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And understanding within those groups uh, what their responsibilities will be for each one of those teams within each organizational unit. So uh, many people who are familiar with Active Directory, and I'll just kind of make this brief, uh, understand the basic 
structure within the access for a specific resource. It's typically three levels. You have your read level, you have your read and write level, and then you have your read, write, and delete level, or they sometimes call it full access level, right? And in many ways, that mirrors how your role-based access is going to look within an organization as well. You may have a, a tier one, a tier two, and generally speaking, a tier three, um, you know, individual within a specific team that's offering services against that team. And it may be that it looks like an, you know, an analyst, an engineer, an architect, if we're looking at you know, I am specifically, or could it could have any different types of nomenclature, but that's the general concept. Oh, wow. So um, that's pretty much what you attest provides, is it not? Yeah, I believe that, um, you know, based off of, you know, what, what we, we've talked about and what, what I know of the USS product, it, it allows for that governance uh, by providing that visibility into what is happening relative to that level of access and who has the access, right? So, you know, instead of these things happening in a black box, as I often call it, right? Um, the UATS platform really allows for the organization and the individuals within that organization, potentially the IM team, to be able to see what's going on. And even beyond just the IM team, because this is an effort that has to occur against every single person in the organization, it allows the, the management and the leadership to also have uh, that visibility into what's happening so they can make more informed decisions on who should have access, when that access should be delivered, um, and of course, when it should be taken away. Okay. Well, that's just amazing because, um, Garrett, isn't that where you attest comes into play? I, I love the way Marcus set this up. IEMs are great. And we're both big fans of IAM. I created one from scratch. Marcus makes a living off of them. We love IAMs, right? They are the head of the snake, okay? But as Marcus says, there's a few missing pieces, right? We got it great. We got the data in there. Got in the data repository. We got the roles. We got the groups. But why are the then we duplicating that information into a whole nother IGA, which Marcus, you know, is usually 10 to 20 times as expensive, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, why mm -hmm. not just leverage the roles and groups that are in your IAM and use the UATS plugin that then conducts the IGA, conducts all the user reviews. But wait, there's more, right? This is where it gets exciting. Not only can the UATS be utilized to review, do the IGA of the information in the IAM, that's your Azure AD, that's your Okta, that's your Jump Cloud, that's your ping, but it can be used those users and groups as reviewers to review the resources that are not in the IAM. That is the strength of the UATAS solution. Plugs into your existing user and groups and use those reviewers and managers to review all your resources, not just here, but all the siloed apps as well. That's the strength of UATAS. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Um, Marcus, any closing thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I love the way that that Garrett had really articulated the 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 core of what the UATS platform is doing, and it it brings to the forefront of our minds something that's very important. There's a lot of uh, I would say miscommunication, misconception around the tools that are on the market. And so many times, you know, there'll be tools that are referenced as quote unquote IGA tools, as identity mm -hmm. governance and administration tools. However, uh, and you, you probably caught it, you know, if you, if you blink, you'll miss it, right? Uh, Garrett mentioned that these are IM tools that are often being referenced, but they're being called IGAs, right? So a typical IM tool, and without calling out any names here, but a typical IM tool, what it will do is it will, you know, once you get it integrated into your environment, it's able to offer kind of like a single pane of glass solution potentially to manage the access, right? And, and that's really where we want to focus for a second. It's managing the access, or rather it allows the organization to have in, in empowered teams to manage the access. However, once the access is managed, there still needs to be reviews conducted. Nice. Right? Nice. And so yes. that's really where the, the UATS platform shines the brightest because it's, it's collecting that information, it's documenting it, and it's presenting it in a way that it's easy to articulate to others within the organization, as well as empowering the individuals who are directly responsible such as the, the, the managers of a specific team or group within the organization to then go back and review that access without having the obfuscation of, well, I don't know what this group does and I don't know what this, what this thing means. I'm not a very technical person, right? 
but it, it still empowers them to make those decisions without without over encumbering those decision making processes. Well, you have given us many great information today um, and really appreciate it. How can people reach you, Marcus? Yeah, so you can you can definitely reach me on LinkedIn. Um, you can just search my name, Marcus Wells. It's not not difficult to find. Um, mm-hmm. You can also find me um, on the web at uh, wellsecuredit.com. Uh, additionally, you can shoot me an email at marcus at wellsecuredit.com. And uh, coming soon, You'll be able to find me on YouTube, so you'll you'll see that my uh, my YouTube channel is up. However, no videos have been uploaded yet, so just keep an eye on that uh, because we're getting ready to drop some pretty exciting content in the coming weeks. That's awesome, and I just want to end this note by saying we at UATest can be reached at uatest.com or just write to us at info at uatest.com. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you for having me.